and it's this Red Horse Racing team. Uh, Toyota and TRD, all the support they give us, and the amount of resources we have over there. Timothy Peters, Todd Bodine, that just the whole group, Butch Hilton, Rick Gay, Chad Kendrick, my crew chief, everyone works so well together. It's made it so easy to just step in here. And uh, I'm just so proud of these seven guys. That truck left Monday at 1030 at night. I mean, they've worked every day since we signed this deal two or three weeks ago. So to come out here and just have good finish, have good finish, clean trucks, this is what we need. But uh, you know what's the funniest thing about that? It's Tom Deloach. It's his birthday day, our owner. And uh, we got him one, too. So the only thing is I hope Todd could have been up here and got one, two, three. Brian Berry gave me an awesome truck, and it took me uh, about 120 laps to, uh, to figure out how I needed to run it and um, to, to move up to the lanes that I needed to. And, uh, you know, had some luck on some of them restarts and getting to start on the outside but um, took full advantage of every opportunity that was given to, to our team. And, uh, you know, had a couple incidents, definitely wasn't on purpose, but uh, this is Bristol baby, and it got down to the end. And um, can't say enough for the whole SS Greenlight team and Mellon One for sticking behind me. It's been tough. Had some tough, tough races this year for sure. And uh, they've, the whole watermelon industry is behind me, and we're, uh, we're looking to run the whole year. Um, still looking for more, uh, you know, need some more, but... Um, if we keep running this the way, we should run top ten. I mean, you know, we 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 came here expecting to run like this, and uh, had had some lap times there towards the end that was uh, comparable to Timmy, and um, you know, can't say enough for Red Horse. They they had some fast trucks this weekend, and uh, really um, just can't say enough for the whole watermelon and this uh, the water this watermelon Toyota. They've helped us so much. I mean, we we had to go to them after practice. We weren't very good after practice, and. I want to get a good restart there, and I, I got a good jump, but then he kind of checked up, and, you, you know, he was just playing the game. It's, it's fully allowed, and I had to check back up. When he did that, he had to run, and he was gone. And so it's my bad for getting a bad restart. I, I consider myself a lot better restarter than that, so I, I'm beating myself up for the rest of the week. But, uh, you know, congratulations to him. They've helped us so much. And, you know, this is the funniest thing is this is the oldest truck Red Horse has, the truck we ran, and we knew this was going to be a tough race for us because it was going to be the truck that we were eh, not sure about. And to come out here and finish second almost win, I, I'm really excited for Atlanta. It was tough to pass. It was a lot of fun. Stakem Chevy was great. Harold Holly and the guys did a great job all night. That uh, And that three is cursed here. I think that's the second year in a row. That's, that's terrible for them. But good night for Brandon and I. And uh, Man, it's awesome racing here. It's great. It's a one-groove track like you wanted, but it's one groove up high, and you took away the passing lane outside. So uh, you got a beat and bang to get by, but our South Point Chevy was the best thing all night. The first 80 laps, we over-adjusted. And then our, uh, our RCR Chevy was just a little too tight at the end to go any further. But, uh, you know, Joey Coulter in fourth, Ty Dillon, I'm just crushed, about, especially in the points. That just kills us. I, I would have pushed him and kept going if, he, if it would have made a difference. But really proud of the RCR guys tonight. Jerry Kenner, my boys, did a good job. I just kept running out of gas. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I just saw the replay that the 33 got caught up in it. I thought maybe the first time it ran out of gas, I just hadn't swerved the car enough, or truck, I should say, to uh, keep it full of fuel. And... Uh, on the last restart, I didn't even get a chance. It, it ran out of fuel, so I don't know. Uh, really confusing. I uh, should have had, you know, a good 34 laps of fuel left. And I don't know. Something happened, so I we'll have to go back and figure out what it was. Uh, we had a pretty good day going. I think uh, the, the Red Horse trucks were probably just a touch faster, but uh, everybody on the BKR team worked hard to, to get the best we could out of it and uh, keep them honest. And uh, Timothy did a great job to, uh, to get them a win, but uh, we really wanted to win today. Uh, just came up a bit short.